Hey guys, it's Carl Brown for GuitarLessons365.com. Today we're going to learn the main riff to Wherever I'm Roam by Metallica. So obviously we're just going to take care of the riff today. If you guys want to do the whole song, just make sure this video gets 600 likes and uh, we'll do the whole thing for you. All right, but let's just take a look at this opening real quick. We're going to start with a big uh, slide down the sixth string to low E power chord. All right, then we're going to slide into the seventh fret on the A string. And then pick it again with the seventh fret and hammer on to the eighth fret. And then back to the seventh with some vibrato on it. So we have. All right, now come over to the D string, the fifth fret, pick that, then pick it again and slide it up to the seventh fret. And then the eighth fret over on the A string. And then in that with the open E power chord again. So far we have this. And then we're just going to end the opening here with the, just the same, the first phrase we did, which was sliding into the seven, hammer on seven to eight, and then holding that seven with some vibrato. All right, then do that again. All right, so after that riff happens twice, we get into the whole band coming in, and it sounds like this. All right, so that is a power chord here at the fifth fret on the low E string, and then the seventh fret on the A string. You're gonna play that, then one fret up at the sixth, seven, eight. All right, then we kind of start the main riff back here at this uh, um, low E chord, low E power chord. Then we're going to slide back to the seven and start this. So what's going to happen here is it's basically the same thing we did before, but instead of holding that seven with vibrato, you're going to do a trill between seven and eight. So let's pick, you slide into it, pick, hammer, then pick back at the seven and do a trill. All right, now I'm going to hit the low E string with the seventh fret here on the A string as well. So we have this. Come over to the fifth fret here on the D string, just like we did earlier in the opening riff. Now we're going to play this power chord, low E open string, seventh fret on the A, ninth fret on the D. So it's just a little bit bigger chord there and he kind of um, does that every other time you'll, you'll see as we get through it yeah. all right so we ended that we end this phrase sliding up a seven like we did earlier and then we go back to these chromatic power chords and then the riff starts over down here so let me just play from where the band came in All right, we just kind of continue the same thing now. Now this time, instead of jumping back to starting over the riff, after that, it's basically the third time in the song you're doing that chromatic power chords, but the second time since the bands come in, uh, the, the sped up riff with all the trills, instead of coming straight back to there, we do this little addition, it goes like this. All right, so that's basically same power chords. Now we're gonna just play five, six, seven, eight on the A string, kind of heavily muted with the palm. So make sure you got your, your hand right before the, in front of the bridge. I just play that one, two, three, four with these fingers. And then I shift back up to the seventh fret to do that hammer seven, eight, then the trill. kind of starts the riff from there. All 
right. So I'm going to play through everything uh, from when the band came in, at least, because that's the fast part. Uh, you've seen all the parts now, all the chords. Just you got to be able to put it all together. So I'm going to play it nice and slow. And so you'll be able to grasp everything and follow along. So here we go. So it's really cool, once again, if you want to learn the whole song, all the cool um, harmony guitar parts, the solos, and all the riffs, make sure to think it's 600 likes, and I'll get to work on it. All right, I'll see you then, man. Bye.